We're living in a chemical world. So does it really matter? A group of researchers from Columbia University's Mailman School of Public Health decided to explore whether exposure to phthalates in the womb made a difference to intelligence. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we discover the real impact of phthalate exposure on baby. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps and other health horribles through Better Body Chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. So, what are phthalates? Well, they have nothing to do with air pollution. They're a group of chemicals, all with similar chemical characteristics, that are widely used. They pop up in plastics as plasticizers, making plastics more flexible, transparent, more durable, and improve their longevity. They also pop up in personal care products. They improve the skin penetration of lotions and make things hmm, smell good. You get the picture. They're very much part of modern living. So what's all the fuss about? Well, the reason they're on scientists' radar is because they've been shown to be capable of disrupting our hormones. They're officially classed as endocrine disrupting chemicals, or EDCs for short. Since our hormones run our body chemistry, chemicals that look a lot like our hormones can cause a great deal of trouble inside our bodies. Enzymes, transporters and receptors are not always savvy enough to realize they're dealing with a fake version. And this means sometimes they end up artificially increasing the level of a specific hormone and sometimes they shut down the hormonal system completely. We're all vulnerable. But developing babies are extra vulnerable because the building process is in full swing and building a body correctly requires the construction crew to do the building according to a very complicated blueprint. Hormones act as the foreman in this process. The research team asked 328 about to be moms from New York's inner city to pee in a cup. The urine samples were then tested for specific phthalates. Pretty much every mom to be had phthalates in her urine. I told you they were everywhere. Despite finding them in everyone, the levels showed quite a bit of variability. Some moms had more and, well, some moms had less. At the age of seven, all these kids exposed in the womb to these phthalates were evaluated for smartness. The team used the Weschler Intelligence Scale for Children. This is an IQ test of IQ tests. It's designed to test out a variety of facets of intelligence. There's the verbal comprehension index and the perceptual reasoning index and the working memory index and the processing speed index. So what happened? Phthalates did impact smartness. Overall, kids who had been exposed to higher levels of two of the phthalates were not quite as smart as the kids who had been exposed to lower levels. In the case of di-n-butyl phthalate, IQ dropped by 6.7. In the case of di-isobutyl phthalate, IQ dropped by 7.6. Now, these differences are only a couple of points on the scale, but when it comes to getting a good job and a great education, 
a small difference can influence a child's ability to get ahead. Yes, but mm, it's not that cut and dry. The data from this study isn't able to say exposure to phthalates makes a kid dumber. Too many things determine a child's level of smartness. Genes, nutrition, exposure to stress, exposure to alcohol in the womb, birth weight, the home environment, and the quality and type of education. Now, the team tried to compensate for all of these factors in the study. And when they did this, they still found a difference. In this study, children exposed to higher levels of phthalates in the womb were intellectually disadvantaged. The fact that the effect is dose dependent lends weight to the idea that it's not just a coincidence. In this study, a greater exposure resulted in less intelligence. Enough to raise a red flag? (laughs) You bet! As a mom, aiming to give your baby the best start possible, it would seem prudent to limit your baby's exposure to phthalates. Can you avoid exposure completely? Nope. They're ubiquitous, which means They're everywhere, and most of the time, you haven't even got a clue what products have them in. Probably, your two biggest exposure points are your kitchen and your bathroom. Remember I said they're associated with plastics and personal care products. When it comes to kitchen phthalates, cooking in plastic ups your exposure. I know. I know, it's impossible to actually cook in plastic. In tutus it turns into a heap of goo. But you can pop plastic into a microwave to heat things up. Many meals on the go come in plastic. When it comes to bathroom phthalates, phthalates help things (sighs) smell good. So watch out for smelly products. As a rule, Things that smell too good to be true or have fragrances in their list of ingredients more than likely include phthalates. Obviously, everything that smells good is not a phthalate spewing product. But whilst you're pregnant, it pays to be vigilant. It's impossible to avoid exposure to these man-made chemicals. But during your pregnancy, it is worth paying that little bit more for a product which is phthalate free and taking the extra minute to take the food item out of the plastic wrapping before popping it onto the plate and hitting the nuke button on the microwave. Remember, that precious cargo you're carrying is inherently more vulnerable to your chemical world and you want to create better body chemistry for your little one. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry so you optimize your health and the health of your family? Visit our website and browse our library or enroll in one of our free courses. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Know someone who's expecting Share this video so they can make the small changes that will help them protect their precious cargo. And if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.